स्टैंडर्ड फाइव एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज पार्ट वन चैप्टर नंबर टू मोशन ऑफ द अर्थ रोटेशन ट्राई दिस टेक अ टॉप स्पिन इट एंड ऑब्जर्व इट्स मूवमेंट द टॉप टर्न अराउंड इट सेल्फ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट दैट टर्न अबाउट इट सेल्फ एक्चुअली टर्न अराउंड अ सर्टन इमेजनरी लाइन द टर्निंग ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट अराउंड इट सेल्फ इज कॉल्ड रोटेशन एंड द इमेजनरी लाइन अराउंड विच इट रोटेट्स इज कॉल्ड इट्स एक्सिस ऑफ रोटेशन द अर्थ रोटेशन Try this. Take a globe like the one in the picture and spin it. Note the line around which it rotates. Now, take a plumb line and hold it close to the globe as shown in the picture. If you cannot get a plumb line, tie a long thread to an eraser and make one. You will see that the plumb line and the earth's axis are at an angle to each other. That is the earth's axis is inclined the earth rotates with its axis inclined like this the line ns in the picture shows the earth's axis it passes through the center of the earth the points n and s are called the poles of the earth n is the north pole of the earth and s is the south pole north pole axis northern hemisphere equator southern hemisphere south pole plumb line if a circle were drawn around the surface of the earth exactly in between the north and south poles it would divide the earth into two equal parts this imaginary circle is called the equator the two equal parts it makes of the earth are called the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere respectively sunset and sunrise try this stand a candle in the middle of the large table draw a big circle around the candle place a globe at any point of this circle light the candle see that it is dark in the room suppose that the candle is the sun observe which part of the globe gets the sun's light and which one doesn't the well lit part of the globe shows day now looking at the globe from the directions of the north pole turn it anti clockwise this is how the earth rotates that is it rotates from west to east as the earth rotates its different parts came into the light of the sun one after the other and turns away from it also in the same order stick a red bindi on the globe set up the previous model of the globe and the candle turn the globe anti clockwise note when it is sunrise noon and sunset at the location of the bindi day and night on the globe after one sunrise note when the next one occurs at the bindi you will see that this happens when the earth completes one rotation that is when it makes one complete turn around itself this period of time that the earth takes to complete one rotation is called a day a day has two parts day time and night time or simply day and night for the purpose of measuring time we divide the whole day into 24 parts each of which is called an hour a year try this now move the globe along the circle on the table as you do this keep rotating the globe and ensure that the axis doesn't change its orientation eventually the globe will come back to its original place on the circle This is how the earth revolves around the sun even as it rotates around itself the period of time the earth takes to complete one revolution around the sun is called one year there are about 365 days and 6 hours in a year a leap year in the gregorian calendar the year is taken to have 365 days it means that it counts 6 hours less every year that makes 24 hours or 
one day in every four years. To make up for this lost one day, the month of February in the Gregorian calendar has an extra day every fourth year. That year is called a leap year and it has 366 instead of 365 days and February has 29 instead of 28 days. Do you know? You know that the length of day and night is not always equal. This happens because of the Earth's inclined axis and its revolution around the Sun. In the Northern Hemisphere, between 22nd March and 23rd September, the days are longer than the nights. Therefore, it is warmer there. That is, it is summer in the Northern Hemisphere. However, during this same period, in the Southern Hemisphere, the nights are longer than the days. The Earth gets less heat in these parts and therefore it is winter in the Southern Hemisphere. In the period from 23rd September to 22nd March, the days are longer than the nights in the Southern Hemisphere. It gets more heat and it is summer there. In this period, in the Northern Hemisphere, it is the nights that are longer. The Northern Hemisphere get less heat and it is winter there. Note that there may be differences in these dates due to the leap year. In India, summer, the rainy season and winter are considered to be the main seasons. We also divide the year into six seasons, namely Vasant, Grishma, Varsha, Sharad, Hemant and Shishir. This cycle of six seasons is called the Rudu Chakra. Many of our festivals are connected with the seasons. Many of our songs and games are also related to the different seasons. Phases of the Moon Can you tell? 1. What is the name given to the changing shapes of the moon that we see? Answer. Phases of the moon. 2. What are the names of the days on which we see a round moon and on which we see no moon at all? Answer. Round moon is seen on the full moon day and on new moon's day no moon is seen. The full moon and the new moon. The moon revolves around the earth and the earth revolves around the sun. However, these two orbits intersect. Hence, the sun, the moon and the earth are not always along a straight line. We see half of the moon's surface which faces the earth. That is, from the earth we see only one side of the moon. The moon has no light of its own. We can see the moon because of the sun's light that falls on it. On a full moon night, we see the entire side of the moon that faces the earth. On a new moon night, we cannot see any of it. From the full moon to new moon, the illuminated part of the moon seen from the earth becomes smaller and smaller. From new moon to full moon, it again grows bigger and bigger. These different shapes of the moon that we see are called the phases of the moon. The lunar month and days. Tithi. You know that it takes 14 or 15 days from new moon to full moon. This is the fortnight of the waxing moon. After the full moon, the moon appears smaller and smaller. And after 14 to 15 days, it is new moon again. This period is the fortnight of the vanning moon. Thus, the period from one new moon to the next is of 28 to 30 days. It is called the lunar month. Every day of the lunar month is called a tithi. Always remember, the rotation of the earth gives rise to day and night. The revolution of the earth and the inclination of its axis give rise to the cycle of seasons. What we have learned, the rotation of the earth causes day and night. The revolution of the earth around the sun and its inclined axis together cause the seasons. The revolution of the moon around the earth gives rise to the phases of the moon.
the period from one new moon to the next is called a lunar month it has about 28 to 30 days the fourth night ending on a full moon is that of the waxing moon the fourth night that ends on a new moon is that of waning moon the days of the lunar month are called tithis